Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll be showing you how to change the wing mirror glass and cover without breaking them on your BMW E34. So stick around and we'll show you how. So first we're going to set about removing the mirror glass. Like so. There's some connections at the back which just pull out. Let's have a look at the part. As you can see, that's the connections. You just pull them out. And that's the inside of the mirror, and that's a bit that moves around and all that good stuff. Then, what are we going to unpack? So, there, 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 and there are five locating tags held in by a fine starred screwdriver. Like so. so. And we're just going to set about undoing them. Yeah, which are normally quite rusted in, but these, have been, these might not be that bad. There is a Butler HQ fact. We have had three BMW 34 540s and both of our automatic 540s had two things in common. Somebody brought a replacement wing mirror and stuck it on because they didn't know to do this. And they both have the exact same mark on the front of the bonnet. So those are two Butler HQ facts about two of our BMW 34 540 automatics. At Ripper. It is. So, you can felt on the pressure come off. See, we try to look with a broken one. So, yeah, some of our blog um, tutorials were a bit long, but we'd like to show you exactly what we've already done. If that means the video being long and drawn out, at least everybody knows what we're doing. That's it. So, we cut the um, video a bit because nobody wants to see some hands unscrewing some screws for four minutes. So I've been back to it now, what are we doing next part? Next is, we're going to now remove the outer trim, like, like that. so, it just, just pops off freely, which this, this one is scrap anyway, because it's cracked. See, one of the reasons you might want to change this is because the crack, a mark on the, the Painted bit at the back, or your glass has gone funny or smashed. So, next thing is removing the painted outer casing, which is quite simple. It's uh, located by four clips, and what you do is you push them in with a screwdriver, it's a bit awkward, but they will go. This one's a bit crap. Look. Alloy is a bit crowded, but uh, they will go. And go over to that one. And that one. And as you pop them one out, you sort of go all the case. Which sort of always I pop back in. Pop back in. It's a bit of a pain. So I there is definitely a nap yeah. to this. There is. You know, with all stuff in life, if you've got an old mirror outside or one that's been taken off, or you've got an old door, try it on that one first before you try it on anything brand new. One's out now. Yep. And do it uh, from top to bottom. Uh, it is struggling a bit. A bit of bugger out there is. 
So that was a bugger. We've got now some... Some pliers because before I was being a bit lazy, so... We've got I've got some pliers now. So, and this should make life a lot, a lot easier. Even though it's a bit, a bit of a fiddly job. You gotta pinch the bits together. Pinch them in and push them out. And all the case at the same time. And all the case at the same time, so we do clip back in. So they'll break and that's it. And if you look at the back, you can see these are the tabs that you have to push in and you have to push them in with Aldi, push it in with Aldi, push it in, push it in, and it'll just come out. If you did like this tutorial, please like, subscribe, and comment. We are on Facebook and Instagram, but the HQ. Tag us in Maddy34 stuff. We'll give you a like, we'll give you a, sh a share. And we'll share some E34 stuff. So remember, we're on Instagram and Facebook. Share stuff with us. Tag us in Maddy34 stuff. But until next time, I'd like to say thanks for watching and I hope we've helped you. Bye bye.